Today I'm here with the lovely TF1260 updated by Mr. Paul Resendez and uh, here she is. This is just a quick video. Uh, hold and modify. YouTube's most underproduced, poorly produced Amiga channel with a really quick short take. <laughs> Yes, of course, you see Lightwave is up with the Ray Trace benchmark. And then over here, the uh, Vampire V4 standalone, which has obviously been around a little longer, and the cores are more refined. Uh, it's, I'm, it's, always, it's always been another one of my go-to Lightwave machines because as fast as the 1260, 68060 is, it's still not as fast as the uh, 68080 in there. And yes, none of these guys are as fast as WinUE or an emulator. So if you really want to be fast, use that. But this is more about smashing on these keys and using these mice and just having a blast. So what I wanted to show you is, <laughs> here's your choice. I love this 4x3 monitor with the 1200s VGA output, by the way. Um, it's still not flicker. None of these are flicker fixtured, by the way. So if you open an interlace screen, it will go spastic. But uh, yeah, so you've got the squished light wave on this 4x3, or you've got the stretched light wave on this 16x9. Uh, this is a television set, not a monitor. And it does have a 4x3 switch, now you have uh, Lightwave. Actually, this is more correct. This is 960 by 540. It's being mode promoted in the Amiga Workbench 3.1 running on the Vampire standalone. So that's correct. Those balls look round. So this is the most correct screen I've seen. This monitor over here has a 4x3 switch, even though it's a computer monitor. However, it only lets you use it when it feels like it. It, it. It's looking for a very specific set of resolutions in order for the four by three aspect ratio option to work, which is why I don't like using computer monitors with Amigas, even when you're using HDMI or, or VGA. I'd rather just use a four by three VGA panel and suffer the squish, because um, this squish to me is less crazy than the wide squish. But there's also some VGA four by three monitors that let you um, expand the display, control the pixel stretching. This one doesn't, it's very cheap, it only lets you move it around. But with a TV set, HDMI TV set, you, 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 there's never a worry. You've got four by three, you got 16 by nine. It's never a problem, it's awesome. So we've got the uh, uh, Amiga 1200 going on the uh, ray trace scene, and then we have the uh, Vampire going on the ray trace scene. And this is set to super low res because I don't wanna wait 10 years for this to render. As I've done in a previous video, we do know that uh, this will take at least an hour and a half on the uh, Vampire if it's left at the default resolution. So I am uh, I'm speeding this up a little bit by going super low res. This has been updated by Paul, as I said, and uh, check out uh, the links in the descriptions for Paul's website. He has a great service for um, recapping your Amigas and doing things like updating your uh, cores and ROMs on any kind of a hardware you have that may require it like the TF-1260 he did for me, did an awesome job. Um, check it check it out, check in the description of the site. Uh, that, that, that's my pitch to Paul. He's a great guy, he's always very helpful. He's on the Facebook Amiga group, he's on Discord, he's everywhere, that guy's everywhere. And uh, he, he has a great service he offers. So I'm, I'm, it's really cool to see this TF-1260 finally updated to the latest uh, firmware, and it is faster, it's up to 30% faster. And I can see right now that it is, it is definitely more comparable to what the vampire over here was doing, not as quick. I mean, you just saw, you could wind the video, you could wind the video, you could wind the video back and see how fast these lines are drawing down. But I'm gonna go ahead and pause because we don't need to sit here and wait for this right now. So I'm now stepping in to show you that the vampire has finished this in six minutes and 17 seconds. It's an interlaced screen down there. So it looks a little weird and wonky, sorry about that. But yeah, I finished it in 16 minutes, 16 minutes now six minutes and 17 seconds uh the 1200 is still going and it's on pass four of five okay so we are back again and the 1200 has finished the tf1260 has rendered our lovely balls here this time i left the image up so you could see it yet again the um standalone vampire did it in six minutes 17 seconds and this did it in 15 minutes, 16 seconds. So yeah, um, about twice as slow, which is still really good. I mean, this is a, uh, I think this is clocked at 
40 or 50 megahertz, I forget. Of course, why don't, why don't you just check? <laughs> and I know there's a program you can do like CPU speed or something to uh, get this to go faster. Let's see what even what this says, good old system info says. Ah, yeah, no, there's no 16 to 40 library installed. It doesn't need it. Um, this is saying it's gonna be probably something ridiculous, right? Let's see, is it no? So it's doing 38 MIPS, 27 MFLOPs. Yeah, 36,000 dry stones. Um, doesn't really mention clock speed here, does it? Interesting. I'm, I mean, it's. I think it's like 40 megahertz or 50 megahertz, and I know you can change it. Um, Paul said he tested it up to I think as high as 75 megahertz, and it was and it and it, and it worked. So I, I could do that, but of course I'm always fearful of heat. Um, I don't like the whole heat issue, so I want to be careful with that. Um, so yeah, as you may recall on the video I made previously about the Firebird and this. Um, the dry stones were like 160,000, 180,000, and here they're 36,000. Now, uh, um, regardless of the accuracy of this, at least it's a relative number between these three. Uh, although, I, yeah, I mean, someone could tell me in the comments that doesn't matter because the technology that this is using from these doesn't work with this program. So I don't know, but those are the numbers I've got. So that's it. Uh, it was a short video. Um, Thanks for uh, watching, and uh, yeah, check out uh, Paul's uh, links in the description. Thank you.